this Christmas homemaking marathon, I gathered lots of inexpensive or free home decor ideas, recipes, grocery haul, cooking, baking, homemaking, handmade gift ideas, gift wrapping ideas, and many tips how to create a cozy home before Christmas arrives. How to enjoy the season by reducing the stress of homemaking and all those busy days. And this is just a little preview at the beginning what you are about to see in this marathon. Each year I like to host a craft party to my friends and I will share more on that in this video as well. And of course the cleanup that follows that. More Christmas and winter decor, dinner ideas and many more that you're going to see in this marathon. needed some hangers uh, from Ikea and it was <laughs> a nice excuse to go there when they have the Christmas stuff out each year with a different design and sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's a miss for at least for my taste <laughs> there was one year when I was able to gather more of the things that I really liked and some years there's just nothing that I like to buy there but it's really fun to look at them A few years ago I bought some glass ornaments here it was a red color and till today it's my favorite so I was checking out if I can find more of that but they had different design this year One of the things that I got really excited about is this robe. I had this on my list for a very long time, but I was afraid to purchase it through Amazon because I didn't know about the weight. So this is a, such a lightweight robe and exactly the same pattern that I wanted, this waffle texture. And the same is with this towel. I have one in a different color and it's very soft. It's very absorbing and I also I was able to find a nice red colored tablecloth for Christmas. I'm very excited about that because this red is very pretty. I got some hangers and a glass bottle. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. One of the things that I really appreciate in IKEA is that their design go well with everything. So I already have a few of these boxes, but I needed some more in the pantry. How come the trees get sunrise when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves? They... So the first decor that I want to share with you, <laughs> it's a fun one. It's going to be beautiful from the inside and from the outside and it has many many benefits. So first of all I am going to gather some branches. Thank 
With this setup, I am going to enjoy the coziness from the inside without having all the dirt inside. <laughs> so it's going to stay fresh longer that way that it's outside and also I can easily open the window. Dressing up a window, it's a tricky way to decorate for inside and outside at the same time and plus you can save some space. For next, I am going to work on this mantle, which would be the focal point of the decor because I do like the decor, but I don't like to do too much. I mean, at least for my taste. <laughs> and I wanna create something that it's cozy and I have many different ideas, so it might change throughout the time until that leads up to the Christmas. And I'm going to share with you more option in this video as well. But I want to get decorate early on, on a little bit. One, I can get these ideas out on time for you guys. But also I want to do a craft night with my friends. And I just want to make this house very cozy for that. So this is one thing I bought from Ikea this year for Christmas. And this is a string light. And lights are always something I can use on any kind of occasion. So. I really like this purchase so much and it turned out even better as I was expecting. I have these little golden stars. I'm not sure if it was from a craft store or Amazon. If I have a link, I will put it down below. But they come very handy to, to just add little details on the wall.
and this is the favorite glass ornament I was talking earlier on. This table has a high traffic so during the day I like to keep it simple so I might just going to keep this little table cloth uh, I think it's like 30 years old or so <laughs> and I just add a candle and if we're going to eat I'm just going to use this runner which is from Walmart I think it was about $17 or so and I like that it's not a full tablecloth so it doesn't get dirty as fast if I would have a full tablecloth and but it still sets the mood for Christmas. And this is the tablecloth that I purchased this year at IKEA and I'm just trying it on because I still have to wash it and iron it but I think it's gonna be so beautiful on a Christmas uh, night when we're going to have the dinner uh, so it's gonna be great for birthdays it's kind of like a happy color and this is another version of <laughs> decorating the mantle and the lanterns I just put all the lights in there If you want to have a more simple look and you have little bit little itty bitty knickknacks like I do I just like to gather them on one it can be a tray or just uh, something like that it's a piece of wood and it just makes it more put together I really want to get you on the painting again and as far as the prints are going thank you so much for uh, those of you who ordered some I really appreciate that and those prints are on the way to you I also bought some paper boxes that <laughs> I think it's been two years since I think yeah it's two years I was hunting for these paper boxes I have the same uh, style with a smaller ones but for like items that I want to gather in a bigger one like the Christmas ornaments and decor or things that we want to keep as memory for the kids it's gonna be perfect I really love the size and it's super light and it's made from paper I just love that Well, here are the things that went wrong with this project. <laughs> One, I didn't defrost the berries. Two, I used the blender. <laughs> Food processor works way better. And the third one is I used coconut oil. So if I would do this again, I would use a fractionated coconut oil. So it doesn't um, have that very strong coconut smell to it. And if your skin is sensitive, better to use um, olive oil or some other oil because coconut oil can clog your pores. Since this is made from cranberries, it would be a nice present if you go to Thanksgiving somewhere and it could be a nice gift. The never ending saga in the kitchen to organize it <laughs> but we got more apples because I like to bake with apples especially around this season and um, I need to store it somewhere so I come up with this idea now to put all the apples on this shelf and it comes very handy it's in the perfect spot and I think it looks very nice it warms up the kitchen Cooking and baking makes the home extra cozy and I like to bake a lot 
uh, I like to do a casserole type of dish because one the worm is coming from the oven <laughs> and it's easy to do and I just used some spices on the chicken I also bought this organizer which either will go into the refrigerator or the freezer I will figure it out and then it works as a file system for my zwilling bags and I already tried it and it works really amazing kind of cold but you know you've got a hand to hold come along now gathering more material for decorate the house and the weather was really cold it was very windy and I still have to clean up my garden <laughs> we had sunny and warm weather for a very long time and all of a sudden we just had pouring rain but I don't want to just cut everything done yet because until we have freezing temperatures they can still provide some goodies like the herbs and I have some beans that I am going to just bring in now and I'm starting to decorate as well Winter can be very yucky for the lungs so I like to use some herbs and put them into the bathroom so it's just really a nice feeling when you take a shower and you feel all the scent of these beautiful herbs. Out of a fairy tale, come along, start the show, having fun in the snow. Last year I used tension rods uh, in places throughout the house as we enter to uh, our house there's a door opening where I like to use that and it works nicely because there's no damage on the wall it's very easy to install and uh, it's very easy to attach things on it and I will do this this year on the kitchen window I think I did it last year as well but now I really want to focus on this two windows to decorate them We did some grocery shopping as well and I'm slowly gathering items for Christmas and Thanksgiving like walnuts and poppy seeds and all those traditional things that I like to cook for Christmas I slowly gathering them some goes into the pantry some goes into the freezer but we can definitely tell we are getting ready for the holidays as we trying to gather all those things into our kitchen. store the asparagus kind of like a flower you just have to put a little bit of water on the bottom of the jar and I got some pumpkins and then this giant radish Walking around, feeling free, thinking about 
what's happened to me from your life Until now, don't know where, don't know how Lately I'm I'm starting with cleaning up the front porch some of the plants are going into the greenhouse and the pumpkins are going into the compost putting some greenery at the entrance and finishing up the green decors in the kitchen Tension rods are an amazing hub as I decorate the kitchen. We really like the green branches on it, especially the, I think it's called the cedar one because it's softer and it's not as heavy and it has a very fresh green color. To repurpose that you already have, if you have some ornaments, you can create a garland by linking them to each other. Starting the morning by getting out of the way all the things that need to get done <laughs> and this cute house that you just have seen I bought this uh, uh, at Marshalls and it was in back in February I think and it was on sale it was like two dollars and I can store some cookies in there if I go somewhere to a Christmas party or something so back to the <laughs> morning schedule I like to get things out of the way I mean I have to anyway because my family needs to eat but I also like to prepare lunch in the morning so that way I can focus more on the other things for the rest of the day I saw these itty bitty ribs at the store and I just couldn't resist them <laughs> it's gonna be a real treat and I'm going to use some spices and uh, barbecue sauce on it and I will show you later on how I'm going to finish up the cooking of that I have some leftovers and this is what I'm going to pack for the boys I'm going to warm it up One of the things that I really enjoy in this kitchen is to <laughs> fill it up this little box. Uh, it kind of serves us like a little cafeteria. <music> to keep the lunch somewhat warm, I like to use more towels on the bottom and as I wrap it up it will keep some of the heat. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sound. Come, certain of what awaits them when it all ends. As 
I get ready in the morning, I like to pick up things as I go. What lies ahead of me? Am I part of a grander master plan? Will I be washed away like that? I like comfortable clothing and today I'm going to do a bunch of fun projects. So I am going to cozy up with a warm shirt and some stretchy pants. They put their faith into someone who's after age reading from a torn out page from a book filled with lies. But I don't know what to do. I'm staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Someday is certain of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know. I am rushing through my list what I have to get done in the morning because I cannot wait to get ready for the Christmas decor. Are left to school, Joat left to work, so <laughs> now everything is calming down, and I'm just catching up with the morning to do's. Will happen to me? Will I be remembered in the century? Or will I be forgotten? When I do a project, I like to use my little round table, but today I am going to make a huge mess, so <laughs> I'm gonna need the bigger table. I'm going to take a short break before I start and just I'm just going to brainstorm a few ideas and the proper way to do that <laughs> fixing some hot cocoa I used to just grab a snack here and there but these days I like to give more time to myself we're just sitting down and just flipping through some fun magazine when we are eating in a rush we don't digest properly so it is very important to eat as we sit down and in a calm manner Keep 
keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down I love this cutting machine But hmm. I have my love and hate relationship with it because I can see the potential but I don't think I'm good at handling that program so I do my best and I'm signing some of my prints that I'm sending out and I am going to wrap a one present I like to take my time and I love to do this as early as as possible because I know the last three weeks that leading up to Christmas is going to be so busy with all the parties and things that are going on for the kids as well so these are still the calm before the storm times <laughs> when I can really soak up and enjoy the season and um, so back to this cutting machine I really like it um, I don't like to figure it out but once I, I have something that I know how to create it's really fun to reproduce them and I'm making some for my friends for the craft party gathering all the treasures into a box I'm trying to create a set for each person have to make these ribs again they turned out to be so soft and juicy and flavorful The great thing about this cutting machine, it can cut on its own, so I just have to load the paper in and just clean it up the paper. So while the machine cutting it out, I can do other things around the house, so I can catching up on the laundry as well. I have done many decorating with these papers so if you want to see more videos on that I have one down below in the description box but I still have a lot of ideas that I want to accomplish this year and it's all related to paper so it's very easy to store easy to make them and it will look very warm and cozy In the bedroom, I don't want to over complicate things, but just a little bit of a decoration for these little shelves for a Christmas spirit. It was the night before Christmas. I was I 
I have lots of green tomatoes from my garden and I've been procrastinating to do that but today is the day when I'm going to make a pickle out of them this is one of our family's favorites so I'm excited to make it for them and as I'm grabbing the garlic I just run through my finger on the beans so make sure they are dry and they're not going to get any mold and these onions that you just saw these are not pearl onions these are my hardcore walla walla onions <laughs> from my garden but they just um, turned out to be so tiny but I thought it's going to be very nice and a perfect size for pickling Again, I'm doing some fun gathering for the craft night. I'm just basically going through what I have, what would be a nice addition to those other craft projects. If you ask me what is my favorite spot in this house, I would say this table. It's pretty much where I do all my favorite things, including eating. <laughs> it's a chance to start over new. Cause I miss you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you The green tomato pickles are done, so I'm just going to clean up the kitchen very quickly. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. To sanitize the washcloths, I like to use some baking soda inside and I just dip it into some vinegar. Turn from the afterglow. Will you carry me like I am sausages are easy to make and additionally I still have some leftovers that I can pack for the boys
a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the greater moon When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me? One of my sweet subscribers sent me this soap. Thank you so much for that. And she mentioned to me that I can use this to clean dishes. And I tried and it worked amazing. Wrapping up the morning routine. Finishing up, putting away the grocery. I'm so glad I have this steam mop because it just helps me to clean up the floor faster and more efficiently. I don't have to scrub as much as I would do with another one and I don't have to pull out the bucket either so it's faster. Everything that is wrapped in bacon can be delicious. <laughs> So I wrapped a lot of things over the years into a bacon and my favorite is the date ones but I came across with that carrot one on Instagram. Guaranteed a crowd pleaser and the best part they don't really require much effort to make. You're gonna need four. For this dish, I tried to pick the carrots that are a little bit thinner and smaller in size. This could be a nice side dish for Thanksgiving as well.
me wondering Is our love strong Just like a love song Baby, it's haunting me Don't know what you're thinking It's like I'm sinking Deep underwater Maybe it's harder 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 for me Oh Harder for me Maybe we're over it Or maybe just lovers Cause under the covers Baby, you're showing me to be fearless, no one can hear us You throw in the pit, let us through the fall the bacon is definitely infused the nice flavor into the vegetables but I had to put back the carrots for a little bit longer time but I'm going to enjoy the rest with my rice Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye! Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So oh, it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide but falling in love Guys, the laundry room is done and if you want to see how we made it, stay until the end of this video because as a bonus material I put it on the end and as of right now I'm cleaning up the mess that was left behind after we finished this room. Starting the day with one of our favorite, it's a gluten-free French toast and dairy-free. <laughs> After everybody left to work or school, I'm starting to do the other chores to get it out of the way. Okay, okay, I skipped one. These tedious tasks 
I like to get them done in the morning as soon as possible so I can move on and do the more fun things, the creative parts of the homemaking. But the sweet French toast didn't fill me up so I'm going to have a second breakfast <laughs> and I treat this time as I'm eating out. That's my table, that's my very own restaurant. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the way all the housework as possible at the beginning of the week because the rest of the week it will be crazy but a good crazy <laughs> I'm gonna go to a Christmas party and then I'm going to have the craft night with my friends so I have to prepare for that as well Either it's summer or winter I love to use the linen sheet it's just better with regulating the temperature and the moist so it's nicer to sleep in there and it's easier to clean my order has arrived i was looking forward to buy this pot because we needed a bigger one as my boys are growing i need to cook more food and our pots are just way too small bought four trays at IKEA and I had a hard time to find a place where I could put it and I came up with the perfect solution it fits on top of this wooden boxes so it covers the mess and it has a place to live this week I'm going to put it into a good use this paper boxes because I'm gonna go to a Christmas party and I'm going to take some cookies I bought them at Marshall's back in February so it was on sale so I think it was four or five bucks in one package and it was two dollars Once we made the closet in my older son's room, he didn't need the dresser and I put it in my walk-in closet and I discovered I don't need it either. <laughs> I don't have that many clothes. So I thought I'm going to put it into the kitchen for all the linens that I have and it's gonna be really nice to see through because it's a drawer so it's easier to organize and I like to use a box and I like to put it on the ironing board and that way I have a guide how wide I should 
fold that and I love to fold on the ironing board because it's not slippery and I can adjust the height. As my boys needed more food, I need bigger pots and I opted with this kind. I really love my Zepter one, but they are discontinued and I really, okay, so here are the things that I like about this type of uh, pot that it has a wide opening so it's very easy to cook in there I love the round bottom it's easier to stir food in there as well and it's also it's non-toxic and if you like me you forget things when you boil <laughs> and things can run out of the pot this is a perfect lid because it's so heavy it can't really push out all the steam and it just stays everything in the pot the downside of it I kind of have to learn to cook with that again because the zapter that I have it has like 16 or 19 I don't even remember how many layers on the bottom so that makes the water and the food boil a lot uh, longer and this one cooks faster also I have a um, electric cooktop so I think it's affecting that it can burn down the food faster so I'm still experiencing the new pot but I really love the shape of it also I can use them in the oven as well and I really like these happy colors that are come with I love my IKEA towels so much. I have a red that I can use for cleaning up the dishes or drying up the dishes and I have the blue one that I can clean up with so that way I can tear them apart. They are very absorbing and it's only 89 cents. Going to make a very quick stew it's a pea stew and usually we serve it either with some omelette or a little bit of a chicken paprika or beef paprika on the top of it be wondering what am I doing with those two slides <laughs> so my friend next door texted to me if I want to do some Christmas shopping with her so that's what we did and I find two slides that is gonna be amazing when we go up to the mountains with the boys and also I stopped at grocery outlet they have a discounted prices for amazing organic food and I scored some herbs and fish and vegetables and some bubble bath as well we also stopped at Marsha's and home goods and I bought the same exact shower curtain that we have been using for a long time I think it's for 10 years it's a washable one it's a non-toxic one I really like it and it dries very fast I also bought these little bags to put some present in for the secret Santa at the school for my boys I got a shower gel that was on sale again and this cute uh, ba bottle that can that has recipes on it so I can create my own dressings I scored some dish soap that I always use and and it was $2.99 so it was a good price for that and some honey Get 
say. Last night I got home very late and nights are always busy and it's just filled with chat with the kids and things like that. So I'm going to put away all the groceries today, this morning. When we take a shower or wash our hands, I like to buy this big bottle of a shower gel and this is from grocery outlet as well so they have a great price and I never understand those little hand soap um, <laughs> bottles because that only lasts for us um, maybe for a week or so so that way it's out of my mind I don't have to refill it because it's gonna be good for a long time back to my restaurant <laughs> I am going to choose to watch a Christmas movie which was kind of a weird one I never finished that it was happening in Las Vegas <laughs> I didn't really like it <laughs> Washing machine is working on cleaning the clothes and I put extra wood into the fireplace and I'm going to bring in some decoration. These fluffy branches, I don't know exactly the name of it, <laughs> they do better in a dry and warm home so they don't lose the needles as fast as the short ones that I'm picking up right now. Besides, these branches are holding on to the needles a lot better than the other one. I'm going to use this above the fireplace. And also, I love how fluffy they look. It has a more airy feeling. It's not as heavy as the other one. we finished with the laundry room I decluttered a little bit and I reorganized some of the things so now one box I like to keep all the rags and the other one I keep all the things that are related to the mop in the two other boxes uh, one of them I keep the gloves because this is where we go to the garden and the garage and just working on projects and the other one has some flashlight in there <laughs> facing with my procrastination pile so yesterday when my friend texted me that if I want to go to Christmas shopping with her I just dropped everything <laughs> as you can see so I'm going to finish it up now I have kitchen towels with some fun patterns and material and I like to use them to wrap some food in there when we go somewhere and I want to take some food. Also with meal prepping I like to put this under the dishes so they are not slippery.
to wipe our hands during the week I have these very simple looking rags and uh, it came with a jar that I purchased a huge size of jar for kombucha making they are very soft and absorbing I still have plenty of greenery from what I picked from our property and I'm just going to make little bouquets <laughs> and just decorate with that. Washing a uh, tissue paper in the washing machine can be bad. How about if you wash some toilet paper? <laughs> That's what I use as a Kleenex and it, it just melts into itty bitty pieces. To me, it's really, really a fun thing to decorate for Christmas day by day, not to get it done all in one day. And today I'm going to finish up the, that window and I am going to create some snowflakes on it later on. We have a friend who has an overgrown Christmas tree farm so we're going to check it out if we can find a smaller one that we can cut. We could have just cut the top of one of the trees but it would have been still very wide so that would take up too much space so we're going to opt with a uh, different solution. <laughs>
after finishing up cleaning the kitchen I am going to wrap up the snowflakes on the window and I want to make my morning a little easier so I'm going to prepare two different food for the tomorrow's breakfast Starting with making an oatmeal with almond milk and I can actually create many many different kinds with the oatmeal because I can just dress it up with a different toppings and I'm adding some vanilla flavor and maple syrup to it. The other one is a simple one. I have made this in the past. It's just um, I'm cutting up the apples and I'm making like kind of like a pancake mix and I just pour it over except this time I'm not going to fry them. I'm just going to put that in a casserole dish. This is the time when we like to focus on family and friends and we've done many things to simplify our Christmas routine I would say. <laughs> we set some boundaries uh, with presents, we're trying not to over complicate things. Well, the whole reason why I choose to use a boxed uh, cookie mix <laughs> because I didn't want to make mistakes because I needed a nice um, shape to be able to decorate the cupcake. I never measured out anything when I bake but tonight I really want to be this a uh, nice cookie because this is what I'm going to take to the party where I'm gonna go tonight. Meanwhile, I love these mixes because they are only clean ingredients in there and they turn out beautiful and <laughs> they taste really good. This time I really regretted because I just couldn't fill up all the molds with the dough because it wasn't enough. So price-wise it didn't turn out to be that efficient. Powdered sugar, I like to use monk fruit, 
<laughs> so I put some vanilla beans in there to taste better but I also didn't grind that so it ended up like a hail storm <laughs> instead of the snowfall so I ended up grinding it and after that it was perfect We have some traditional food that we like to eat on Christmas Eve but I'm not going to pressure myself to do it in one day so I'm just going to spread it out so as we have one week that leads up to the Christmas that's when I like to space it out like each day I make one type of meal since we have four or five different type of meal that we like to eat around Christmas I'm not going to do that in one day I'm just going to spread it out and that way we're going to enjoy it longer as well since we're not going to eat it in one day but for a whole entire week we're going to treasure those moments longer some of the cookies that I made I'm going to take it with me tonight to the Christmas party and I made some extra for tomorrow when my friends are coming over It is very important to take a break while we have this stressful time and busy time and I like to give an extra effort as I'm eating and also right before I go to a party even though they are going to serve some dinner I definitely going to eat a little bit before that so make sure I'm not going to be starving when I get there Over two decades we like to go up to the mountain to cut our tree with a permit but this year we just went by um, the store but one we just wanted to reduce the pressure to make it to the mountains before Christmas The craft party with my friends is going to be today, so I'm going to gather some snacks at the store. My friends are coming today for a fun craft party and I really wanted to have the tree up by they arrive. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to decorate the tree but maybe I can throw some lights on it.
traumatizing friends and family around this time of the year, it's a must. Instead of buying or making presents for my friends, I made this craft night, which turned out to be so great that we want to make this as a tradition. So that was the, my gift to them. Keeping up with the everyday routine helps to normalize the chaos that occurs this time around the year. One of the highlights of this season, oh. <laughs> decorating the Christmas tree. So that's where the lid's at for the container. <laughs> I just lost it. <laughs> just reminding my older one how they used to decorate the tree <laughs> that was only on one side and one area <laughs> A sunny but cold day still calls for a tedious task <laughs> that I have to get done to reset our home after the weekend. When I have a busy schedule, I like to avoid things that takes longer than 30 minutes. So those projects are set aside and I will just focus on the things that can be done fast. a life I live in the sea, hurrying up my teeth, I 
can take what I need to get by. I really enjoy some soup during the winter time. Um, I'm definitely uh, <laughs> on the side of the savory food. And also I am going to prepare the dinner as well for my family. So that way I can get it done with one mess. And the soup is very easy. I just used some onion, cabbage. I had some purple potato, but I like the golden ones. And I have some kale in there and garlic and some organic hot dog. And I added some um, chicken broth. Uh, I actually like the beef broth better, but this time I used the chicken broth and I got them at a grocery outlet. And the, the dish that I am preparing for dinner is going to be a Hungarian beef uh, paprikash. mix my own cleaner it's way better for our health and it's so much cheaper and I can choose from many many different essential oils so I can have some fun with the scent also you can prepare it as a gift if you want to and you can just add some greenery to it so it will look more festive really like the greenery how it turned out on the fireplace so I'm going to add to this little wooden shaft as well some greenery on the side of the road and that give me some more ideas <laughs> The big reason why I was able to reduce all the decorations what I had before for Christmas is that I can grab this greenery from outside and even back then when we didn't have anything in our little backyard I find a way on the side of the road or there were some areas where I was able to cut some greenery and that is a tremendous help. I really love the look of it. I don't have to store it throughout the year. I can come up with a different design each year. I get to really enjoy the season as I'm 
gathering them and um, just creating something with them and also it smells really nice basically I have lights and I have the ornaments for the Christmas tree but I'm able to fit them into a few little boxes and that's all the place that it takes up some color and candles to the table immediately will change the atmosphere and immediately we will have a festive mood simple but warm food definitely creates a cozy home quiet night as the boys are finishing up their homework i am going to decorate that window and this is another way i was able to reduce a lot of things with christmas decor the paper cutting machine i can create some simple gifts if i don't want to give a big present just a small something i can create those little houses but also i can create some decor for the windows as well Thank you so much for watching until the end and if you enjoy this content don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you soon in the next one bye in today's video i'm going to walk you through five days of homemaking as i'm getting ready for christmas there are so many topics that i'm going to cover there are going to be some tutorials recipes and uh, cleaning tips and homemaking tips grocery haul home decor gluten and dairy free baking stay until the end to see them all <laughs> This morning, as I moved the lamp, a bunch of dust fell on the table. So, <laughs> that was a clear sign I need to clean this space.
having a fireplace sure messy but I love the heat that it gives us it's a different heat than the other heating system because it's radiating the warmth for today on my list I have a bunch of things I want to finish up and partly making some presents wrapping up some presents get the tedious task done around the house <laughs> heading to the Scandish restaurant <laughs> I'm very satisfied with the service over there the waitress is very polite <laughs> and always brings my favorite food when I eat I like to stop everything and just really take my time and enjoy the food After I had a nice meal, I'm going back to finishing up the housework and I have somebody that asked me how I make the paper garland and I'm going to show you now. First, I'm going to cut out the shapes and the reason I love this uh, garland because it's made from paper so it's very inexpensive to make it and also it, it's just endless possibilities what I can create with that I can store them flat so it doesn't take up much space and it's a lovely gift to the loved ones and something special that you can give it's a handmade one it's also very easy to decorate with that you just need two piece of little tape and you can fix it on the wall or above the fireplace the cutouts ready for the garland but before I start to do that I have to bring in some firewood For this garland I chose a dark green yarn and I cut out some red colored houses and I have some stars from the craft store so I'm going to line these up. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Between the houses, just pull it very gently and watch your fingers. So we better make the most of what we got. So take your neighbor by the hand and join the day's parade. Before the clock strikes and it's all too late.
I used to make these garlands to the scan fair which I did for six or seven years and this is where I bought this glass dove that I love so much the boys are gonna have a program where they're going to serve some pizza so I'm going to make the gluten and dairy free version of that for them and one of the key ingredients that made it so delicious is that I preserved some basil in salt I have many other videos on that how to do that but basically I just grind the salt with the herb and I dry them and it's something to do with the salt that when it's infused with that herb that herb tastes better than just drying itself so this is what I put it into the dough and it just tasted so good and the other one that I want to recommend to you guys this I just discovered recently this liquid cheese and it's all good ingredients is the Miyoko brand I trust them I use them for years and uh, they just came out with that or at least I just discovered that that they have this liquid form where I can just put it on top of the pizza um, one thing I want to say I would have added more a little bit than what I put on the top it's over now, so don't despair. It is crunchy on the outside and it's soft in the inside. It turned out perfect. the boys left I'm able to finish the gift wrapping The boys got home late at night, they had a bunch of fun and they are heading out again but this time in the early morning, <laughs> some cooking again and they are gonna go out with George and they are gonna have some breakfast with other guys and I'm preparing a waffle for that. Science, it's weekend. Joat is going to make some coffee. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> she the boys left in the morning my friend called me if I want to go to the city and just do a bunch of grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and each mart so 
I was ready in 15 minutes <laughs> and we were on our way and this was a very fun grocery shopping because I don't get to go to those stores very often. Since I spent the big chunk of the day outside of the home, I am starving. So I'm going to prepare the soup that um, I, I make many kinds of soup. There's no specific recipes, whatever I see and find, <laughs> it will taste good. I put it in there. And this time I used a lot of mushrooms since I had those. And it was ready in less than 10 minutes because this bone broth and these um, mushrooms mm. that I put in there, it cooks very fast. Shopping is very busy around this time of the year, so it's very nice to retreat at home and I'm just admiring the mistletoe that I bought at Trader Joe's. When we redid our laundry room, I bought out a couple of things like this fence and stuff and I want to store it up there on the shelf because we don't have a lot of things up there so this is going to be a perfect spot for it. this board game a few weeks ago from home goods and that is a perfect game to play with the boys after a long day when we are tired because we can play it fast it's a very fast paced game
some mornings are just very busy and this morning everybody woke up in a <laughs> decent time and everybody was ready in time so we were able to squeeze in a five minutes of game because my younger son really started to like this game After Joan left to work and the boys left to school, I'm starting to picking up the kitchen and processing the food that I bought the previous day. So I'm just going to organize everything in the refrigerator quickly. Don't know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. To not to waste food, I like to keep a tight inventory in the refrigerator and these swirling vacuum containers are perfect for that because I love their size, the height and they keep the food fresh five times longer. So when I organize the, the refrigerator, I consider the size. I have as many containers as I can fit on one shelf and that is a big and deep shelf so it's perfectly holds the amount of food if I cook that way I'm not overflowing with the containers in the drawers and also I am able to keep on track what kind of food we have in the refrigerator yeah, I want your body, body, body too. Yeah, body too. Continuing the day with a reset in the bedroom. the windows and mirror I like to use 50% of vinegar 50% of water and it perfectly cleans it and I have a recipe down below in the description box for all-purpose cleaner they are all homemade they work well and it only takes a few cents to create that alone a day to have keep up with the laundry and to treat the stains i have this all natural bar and i have the links and a little bit more information down below in the description box To make the room smell good, I'm going to drop a couple of drops of tangerine essential oil on the floor. I could seriously put together a whole entire video just on what I washed in the washing machine. <laughs> I, I'm trying my best. My legs got tired so I sit down and this is gonna be something that I'm preparing for the teachers at the school. I wanted to have something for them that is representing that we are thinking of them and we are thankful to them but I definitely don't want it to go overboard and I think these handmade little paper houses with a little light will deliver the message. Wow, 
what can I say? I can entertain myself for sure. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time. Smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. Based on my videos, it's not a secret that I love the silicone mods <laughs> and I bought this one with a nostalgic feeling because uh, my older son used to love trains so much and at the time when he was little I really tried to, to make them, they didn't turn out good. <laughs> so I was thinking for the shake of the memory I wanted to make this. going to let it chill for a little bit before I'm going to take them out and I'm finishing up the ribs so I'm taking out some fat adding some cornstarch and um, I'm just going to pour it back and I let it cook for a little while so it's going to have a nice juicy sauce Let's get back to the train project and I can easily say it's turning into a train wreck. <laughs> it's not as flattering as I imagined. I'm wondering if it's because it's a gluten-free mixture, if that can um, cause that issue, I don't know. Maybe it's a design, it was just too much detail on it and it just couldn't hold that together. Either that or it's because it's gluten-free. I wrapped the little houses into a simple bag and I added some personality to it with some branches and stickers and red ribbons. The lovely quietness before the crazy morning starts. making some sausages for breakfast and if I don't want to spend a lot of time with that I just pop them into the oven <coughs> 
we have some turkey meatloaf leftover so I'm going to add the broccoli that is already done with the sausages Kale powder, it's very forgiving if you don't like the taste of the greens in the smoothie. While the artichoke cools, I'm going to start to prepare a Hungarian candy that we put on a Christmas tree and I have the recipe down below in the description box I posted on my website a few years ago so you can find it there and I'm going to prepare that because it needs to rest in the refrigerator. My favorite way to eat the artichoke is to eat it with mayo. After a half an hour or so, I have the perfect texture just to make the shapes and once I have the shape I'm going to put it back into the refrigerator so it can harden. While the marzipan is hardening in the refrigerator I'm going to prepare the wrapping. This is a very traditional Hungarian candy for the Christmas tree so I'm going to make a few of them the rest we're just going to eat it as is and you can cover it with chocolate it's even better with that but my family prefers it without the chocolate. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video, especially thank you if you made it to the end. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye! This week I'm preparing all the meals that are our favorite traditional Christmas food. Once the refrigerator is filled up with all the goodies, we are going to take a trip. The plan is to go up to the mountain where we can find some snow.
we have to back it up now. What? I don't want to overheat the brakes. Oh, so. cool. Let's stop for a minute. Back at home, drying the clothes and eating some food that is comforting us. Finishing up, signing and sending our prints. Tonight we're going to have a friend over for dinner and this is the week when we eat all of the favorite food that we like <laughs> and we know he likes ribs as well so we invited him. I'm also going to mix uh, some cookie dough so it will be in the refrigerator ready to bake. <laughs> there, right this moment I realized the first red flag. <laughs> it was just one of those days. <laughs> I forgot to put a few ingredients in there. That is kind of a key ingredient.
this is another favorite and the recipe I will link it down below I posted on my website a few years ago I like to make this for every Christmas I don't know what is worse and dirtier the countertop or the floor in the kitchen when I'm preparing all this food So you will see what happened with this cookie but something went really wrong <laughs> So let's regroup. I'm going to add some eggs and a little bit of sugar because I left it out <laughs> and we'll see where it goes. The borax is still there. So back to the cookie disaster, I added some eggs and <laughs> sweetener and I just baked it again and I put some jam on the top and it turned out actually really good. Good morning guys or at least it's morning over here and we have some snow slash ice <laughs> somewhere between but the boys seem to very enjoy it including us and I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and I hope you are safe warm and you are surrounded by loved ones and if not we are sending you a huge hug Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!